to waste them time. What? These decisions ain't easy. Now nah, leave me, I know it's hard to leave me. What? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Delilah Ferrari, and I am back with a makeup tutorial. Today is November 13th. I filmed this makeup look today. I might post it a little later, but guys, look into this look. I'm looking real cute, and I'm ready to go out and turn up and celebrate my day, okay? If it's your birthday, happy birthday to you, and I hope you are enjoying life and living your best life. You only got one life, so send it out to the world and let everybody feel your vibe. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. As you can see, the balloons are on the floor. I got champagne on deck. We about to get into this tutorial. I'm about to pop my champagne. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. all right guys let's get started so i'm going in with my maybelline 24 hour foundation i like to start with foundation because i want everything to blend out effortlessly so I'm taking this 355 coconut foundation and just applying it all around my face now this is not only 24 hours but it is also matte and poreless guys i would like for you guys to get into this foundation go ahead and get yourself this foundation maybelline 24 hours it lasts all day even the dewy one i got the matte and poreless but even the dewy one lasts all day i'm using this heavy amount of foundation on my cheeks because i don't apply concealer on my cheeks i don't think anyone does so i wouldn't convince you to apply it on your cheeks i like to blend it out nicely guys don't forget to blend out your neck because you don't want that makeup mask around your neck now let's get into this eyeshadow so i am taking a white eyeshadow base and just applying it on my eyelids now i'm starting off with a white eyeshadow base because i want the other colors to sit on effortlessly uh can't really talk today guys i'm sorry effortlessly now i'm going in with this brown neutral color just to be my transition color so i'm applying it on my crease right now but the outer of my crease now going in with this orangey color just to give us a little bit more vibrant and i want to look like you know i'm glowing a little so i'm gonna go back and forth with these two colors the brown and the orange i'm about to apply a heavy amount of brown dark brown that is on my outer corners because i'm going for a cat look guys if you want a cat look you gotta go make the outer corners really dark now going back with this um blends out brush in the orange color and I'm just gonna apply more and blend it out now going in with my LA girl pro concealer this is in a color warm honey guys since this is a glitter cut crease I'm going to cut crease this right now I like to look up just so I know exactly how high I want my cut crease. You guys, look up when you're doing your cut crease. If your eyelids hit the top, that means apply more cut crease. Since this is a glitter cut crease, I have to apply glue. And applying glue will have the glitter sit on properly. Now before I'm applying glue, I did set my concealer. I set it with some translucent powder. Now I'm going to go in with the glitter, guys. Now this is a silver glitter. This is a natural silver glitter. No extra colors in there. You're going to apply this glitter heavily. Now I'm taking a good amount of glitter and I'm pressing down, guys. I'm not pressing down gently. I'm really pressing down because I have not only concealer, I have glue also. So it is really tacky and you want it to sit on properly. Obviously, the glitter is not falling onto my face or nothing like that because I have enough um, glue there for it to sit on. That's why it's not falling onto my face, guys. As I get onto the outer corner of my eyes, I like to smear it. I smear it enough so that it looks natural because I have another color that I'm going to sit on the outer corner. I'm just going to apply my concealer on the next eye and I'm going to repeat the same thing. Look up so I know how high I want my cut crease to be going to set it and now I'm going to apply the glue 
apply enough glue guys so that your glitter can sit effortlessly that's my word today effortlessly okay because i want this makeup tutorial to be effortlessly so don't forget to press down and get that glue sitting on properly guys and don't forget to blend out blend out as much as you can when you get to the end because you want it to look natural and not too harsh Now going in with the dark brown again, I'm going back and forth dark brown and orange guys so that it can look, you know, natural. I don't want it to be a harsh line. That's why I'm going in with the dark brown in that area. And also going to take this rose gold color and apply it on the middle of the glitter, you know, like towards the outer corner because I did say I'm going for a cat eye look guys. Hope you're enjoying this. Don't forget to blend out like I said before. Now we're going to move on to the face, guys. Going in with the same LA Girl Pro Concealer, Warm Honey. And just going to highlight my um, face. Using a wet beauty blender. This is a real technique wet beauty blender. I'm going to easily, effortlessly again, apply that around my face and just blends out this concealer in the areas that you want to highlight you want to have that pop look and that's why i'm using a light concealer Now you guys, if I didn't apply my foundation on first, it would have been a hot mess, I must say. Now I'm going in with another concealer. This is a lighter color, guys. I like I said before, I want to be popped. I want it to look vibrant and bright and beautiful. So I'm just going over it. I forgot the name, but I will leave the description of everything in the description bar below. So don't forget to check out the de description box below, guys. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys, if you're digging these tutorials. I have a lot more coming your way. Now going in with this Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. This is the darkest shade they have. And I'm just going to apply this in the areas I want to snatch. Now, Kim Kardashian did this. She did a three around her face from her forehead to her middle cheek to her um, jawline, guys. I did this except for my forehead. I did this method. I always do this method because I want to have a snatch face. If you know Kim Kardashian, her face always looks snatched. And that's because she does this method, guys. Make a three around your face and you will have a snatch beautiful contoured face go over it with some wet beauty blender after you apply your contour so it can look very natural guys and smooth going in with this airspun neutral translucent powder guys i'm just gonna cut through my contour areas that i contoured and i'm also going to apply it in the areas that i am the most oily at if that makes sense <laughs> like my nose it be very oily there so i like to apply a lot on my nose and as you can see, I am cutting the contour on my nose and I'm cutting the contour on all my cheeks so that I can be snatched, honey. Now I just wiped off all of that and I'm about to apply my eyeliner. Like I said before, I want a cat look. I want my eyes to be snatched, okay? It is my birthday and I'm trying to go for a dramatic natural look. Now, get into this eyeliner, guys. This is the NK eyeliner. No matter what eyeliner you get, get black, number one, and also get a pin eyeliner. One that you can just draw. You are an artist. That's why you're wearing makeup and that's why you love wearing makeup. So draw that eyeliner on like it's your best eyeliner you've ever done okay and that's what i'm doing today i love the way this came out and i hope that you're enjoying it also now before you apply your eyelash as everyone should know you should apply some mascara this is the maybelline mascara that i'm using everyone should know about this mascara and then i'm using a weave glue to apply my eyelashes now guys get into this dramatic eyelash this eyelash is from signature 
by Shanice Marie. That's her Instagram name, guys. I will leave it in the description box below. These eyelashes are so dramatic and beautiful, guys. I love it. I keep buying them. This is the Menage a Trois eyelashes, guys. Get into it. And don't forget to subscribe. I hope, hope, hope you enjoyed this beautiful tutorial I put together. And if it's your birthday again, happy birthday. I love you. And don't forget to subscribe.